Hey, what is up Design Squad? Welcome back to this week's Design Tool Tuesday. And this Tuesday's Design Tool is a design system. A couple of weeks ago, I was presenting a UI wireframe kit design system, which allows you to easily mock up different bits for Sketch and Figma. And today I'm gonna showcase chart design system for Sketch as well. And the best bit that it's totally free and you can install it immediately and start working with it. If you go to ls.graphics slash charts, and I'm going to leave a link down below so you can go ahead and just install it and play with it, you're going to receive a folder, basically a zip file with several different design systems. Uh, one is dark, one is standard, and another one is for wireframes. It's already a win-win-win situation because you have a different design systems for different type of patterns and different type of ecosystem you might be designing for. And so let me showcase you exactly what's inside. As you can see, this is the dark one, quite a few different graphical bits, which you can immediately reuse and modify the standard as you can see is the light version with really nice bold graphics as well the wireframe gonna be a black and white version of the same thing and it's identical to the other bit as you can see it's identical immediately i'm gonna probably stick to the white version i'm not really a fan of a dark theme unless it's for reading and you know like accessibility reasons otherwise it's just a fad which might just you know go through and we're probably not gonna remember it soon enough but let me explain exactly what this design system in sketch is and you know if you've seen some of my videos which should be live by now on the design system and how to make atomic design system in sketch you're gonna know exactly what I'm talking about next because it's all about the structure and it's all about the gradual cascading up like an onion effect where the patterns keep on growing, making bigger and bigger type of unified objects. And so when you're gonna receive this sketch file, you're gonna get a setup, which here I would call this atoms if this would be my design system if it would be atomic it's all semantics and as you can see you're gonna have different colors defined as different type of symbols and they're really nicely defined as you can see you have accent colors you have border accent colors as well outlines shadows as well well crafted well defined text elements and they're also as you can see defined in the actual sketch styles for textual elements and then the use of it as well if it's on a darker background let's say if it's white text so that would be what i would call atoms now next is the elements which is basically a collection of different assets but that's almost skipping the molecules bit and here you have like what i would call organisms but you know we're not here to evaluate how well we structure or how good the design system is it's what you can do with it right and so what you can do with it is that you have a lot of different bar charts a lot of different data visualization capabilities and if i would go through every single one of them i would probably get older but just to showcase some of the fidelity of how nicely defined these things are as you can see just zooming in in this for example balance track type of chart with some overlays and some metrics they're quite amazing and i can see a lot of application in my type of work let's say because i usually work on financial type of applications or decision support tools with, let's say machine learning capabilities and so data visualization is always on demand and making it well is really difficult because you spend so much time crafting this visual and having sketch asset set like this just would make it so much easier i could be a brute and i could just copy this let's say bubble chart if i like it into my sketch file and then just hack it detach from symbol or i could go ahead and just change the different bits from the actual design system they created because that's the whole point as you can see you can change the chart for example all together or you could change the text because it's all with overrides so let's say if this is 300 percent that is gonna change to 300% and you also can change to different shades. You can change different bits here, as you can see it automatically changed the accent colors if you want to. 
everything is basically editable, what you can see here. And so you can go back to setup, change these colors if you want to, to your brand, let's say, and boom, immediately in the elements, you are having that capability to tweak a different bit. As you can see, I'm just zooming out and you have desktop charts, you have desktop charts with a legend, you have a mobile charts as well. You also have a template where you can actually modify it. And again, you can be brute and copy paste in your sketch file so you can nicely tailor everything. You can keep it together. Depending on the time frames, it might be either way. It really depends if I need to smock something up really quickly in the matter of hours, let's say by afternoon. I'm probably gonna be just copy pasting and hacking it. And that's totally fine. I mean, they made it, they knew that some people are gonna do that, some people are gonna respect design system and then update, make it living document as they go. Let's say if you would respect that, like you might want to add another page, let's say once you download this called, let's say experimental or labs, whatever you wanna call it. I'm gonna call it experimental. You can add emoji as well to fit the theme. And then I would probably go into my desktop templates, pick one of the examples. Let's pick something like with this radar or spider diagram, go to experimental, paste it, and then make it maybe part of a page. As you can see, it all is able to resize. So it made it quite responsive. So you can actually adjust it if you want to. But if you want to make it, let's say you don't have to, you can not adjust the content. So you can just resize and make it part of a bigger picture. This is a really quick overview of this free chart design system. And to be entirely honest, I already see a lot of designers using it on, let's say, Dribbble, Behance, uh, in their portfolios, and that's totally fine. You know, you have to start somewhere and it makes it so much easier. For example, all those people who take my actual courses, let's say, uh, the Noob to Master series, sometimes they ask exactly where to start, if I have a design system, or charts or for tooltips or for different elements and this is it you just need sketch and then copy paste those objects and then make them animate in action because i covered most of these use cases already so i hope it's useful smash that like button subscribe to this channel leave a comment down below and until next time